Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tacoma Tier D Sport Upgrade. Now the most notable features on this Tier D Sport Upgrade is its power moonroof. You also have your wireless charging and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tacoma Tier D Sport Upgrade. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD Sport upgrade is its daytime running lights, you also have your fog lamps, and then if we take a closer look at your front hood, you have your hood scoop, and then over on your driver's side you're going to see your plug-in block heater, as well as your 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, foldable mirrors, vortex generators, and one of the nice things with the Sport Upgrade is it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do, uh, sorry, do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side. You have your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet as well as your automatic headlights. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, volume control, you have your voice recognition mode select Bluetooth, and then you also have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now the other nice thing is you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you're going to see a couple of different options which include a digital speedometer, a distance to empty, and then scrolling through here, you can see a couple of different options which include your navigation, you have your audio, lane departure alert, you also have your messages, and then your settings through here as well. Now heading back just to your lane departure here, if you scroll down here you can also see your tire pressure monitoring as well. And at the very top of the screen there you're also going to see an exterior temperature gauge. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options in your apps menu. You're going to see the navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now just to give you a quick idea of what your navigation system is going to look like, I'm just going to close in on it for you. And taking a look down below here, you're going to see a couple of different options which include your 4x4 select, your hazard lights, you have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it. Dual zone climate control settings, you also have your heated mirrors. And located just down below here, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring on and off, so when you actually turn it on, it'll actually just light up in the mirrors there for you. Now underneath, or beside it, sorry, you're going to see your ECT power as well as your open and close for your power rear window, USB and auxiliary, wireless charging on and off, and then your power outlet. Now your pad is just located down below here, so once you have it turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it charging while you're driving. Now it's matted to an automatic transmission, and if we take a look at the very top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top you'll see your traction control on and off with your open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof, just in case you do want to have a bit of a uh, breeze flowing through the vehicle while you're driving, and your sunglass case holder for those days when it's quite bright outside. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now one of the nice things with your rear bumper is that it's a three piece bumper, so in the event that you damage the one section you just have to replace the one segment. On the inside of the bumper you're going to see your 7 and your 4 pin for your towing. Located underneath your rear bumper you'll find your spare tire. And then on the back of the tailgate you have the backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo bed just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now one of the nice things is you do have that rear cargo power outlet. So in the event that you're out at the lake or the cabin during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools you can do so. Or if you'd like you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you have some storage space located over on your right and left hand side. The other nice thing with the TRD Sport upgrade is it does have the bed rail system in there. So with the bed rail system you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side there. Place them all on one side of the bed rail system or take them out altogether, just depending on what your needs are for. 
Now over on your left, right, front, and back side, you're gonna see a couple of areas where you can tie down any loose cargo, just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.